Well, hey, church, I really hope that reading Psalms 1 through 7, a psalm a day in response to week one of our Rule of Life series has been an encouragement to you. And it got me thinking as I was going through my own uh, Bible reading time here and reflection time this morning, I was in Psalm 29. I've been doing this uh, a little bit ahead of when, I guess you could say, I signed it to us this past weekend. And in Psalm 29, the first 10 verses talk about the power of the voice of God over creation, in creation, to move creation and kingdoms and and everything in between. And then it says in verse 11 that that voice, that the power in God's voice is made available as strength to his people to be able to do, as it says in Ephesians, more than we ask or imagine. And so it just got me thinking and just an encouragement of just a reminder of the power of God's voice through his word that you are experiencing as you step through a psalm a day this week. So I hope you're doing that. If not, it's not too late. You can certainly jump in right now. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, you can catch the sermon that talked about it from this past weekend online at firstdecatur.org. But with that, I want to encourage you to be here this next weekend. It's kind of a, a springboard into the next reality is that in God's creation, it actually can direct us to our power and source, you could say, in our relationship with God. So we're going to talk about that this next week. I'm actually in a pretty beautiful spot of God's creation here in Northeast Tennessee uh, at my alma mater, Milligan University, where I serve on the board of advisors. We have some meetings here this week, but it's a great excuse to come and enjoy God's creation and, of course, give him glory and honor for what he has done in it and is doing in our lives. And so we're going to talk about that this weekend. We'll look forward to seeing you at church or online, Saturdays, 5 o'clock, Sundays, 9 a.m. or 10.30. We'll see you there.